Hello nursery, it's Mrs. Budden, I'm back again. You can't get rid of me, you keep popping up again, don't I? Right, last week you did lots of activities all about spiders. And one of the activities I suggested was drawing a spider's web. Now, just in case you didn't do one, I'm gonna show you how to do one today. It's one of those really nice drawing activities, it's really relaxing. And if you just sort of wanna sit around for a bit, it's quite nice just to sit and do this sort of doodly sort of drawing. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Right, and we're gonna make it just how spiders make it. We're gonna make it the same way, in the same order. So the, what you need is a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, and we're gonna draw a line from one corner to another corner. It's opposite diagonal. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that line all the way across. That's one. And now I need to do another one. I'm gonna start in this corner and draw it all the way across to its opposite diagonal. And we've got a big, crisscross shape, like a big X, a big letter X, X sound. And that's what a spider would do. In fact, here's a spider, and he's very grateful. He said, I was just about to make a web, but now you're making it. You've saved me such a lot of time and effort. You're very welcome, spider. Let's pop him down there. Right, the next part of the web. We're gonna go into the middle of our big X shape. And we're gonna start joining some of these lines together. So I'm gonna go up across and down. Now my next line, I don't want to join it together, I've got to go a little bit below it, like that. Can you see how it hasn't joined the beginning of that square? Then go up again, and across again, and down again, and when I go across, I'm going to just down the line a little bit, and you just keep going up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across and you just keep going and going can you see it's taking shape and you can make them a little bit wider on a real spider's web the web starts to spread out a bit as it gets bigger so i'm making my lines a bit further apart there we go almost there it's really satisfying because it's quite a quick job and you fill up the whole piece of paper so quickly. It takes a spider in real life about an hour to do that job. So uh, this spider, what should we call you? Uh, a name beginning with S S S Sophie. Sophie Spider. So Sophie, I've saved your whole hour of web building. And she's like, oh, lovely. And she's going to crawl across. And she might sit in the middle and wait for a fly. Or she might hide around the corner. That's what some spiders do, don't they? They keep out of sight. I bet when you're looking at webs and looking for spiders, you found lots of webs, but no spiders. It's because the spiders are hiding. In it. They can make themselves really small. So it was just hiding around the corner. And if a little bee, a bee, a little bug, comes along and lands on the web, the spider feels it and runs across and it's dinner time. <laughs> there you go. So that's how you draw a web. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, I'll make another one in a minute. Something else for you to draw. Take care. Bye for now.